Some tips for new puppy owners. Three and a half months, we're teaching her not to bite, or at least we're trying. Erin Colton continues our 12 weeks of summer at Family Fun Week at Long Island's newest dog park in Massapequa. Erin, help. Is this going to be okay? Yeah. Okay, so. I'm trying to redeem myself from the last time. Meet Thor. Thor is a Siberian Husky. He's a puppy. And yes, we're talking about puppy tips about how to kind of put them into society and make them act like people, like kids, as best as we're going to try. Uh, joining us here, Chris Hanley from uh, Canine Commanders. He's going to show us some tips. And also we're joined by uh, the vet, the doc in the house, Dr. Shadi Arafage. How is that for, for saying Perfect. your name right? Okay. Perfect. All right, let's get to these tips. Chris, uh, so they may not want to come to the dog park just yet if they're brand new. So what can they do to get ready? Uh, in the beginning, we want to socialize our puppies as much as possible. So this way we can make them a well-rounded adult dog. Uh, socialization is key. Uh, this way you can bring them to a puppy kindergarten class. This way they get socialized with puppies and other dogs. Uh, and then they'll become a well dog, a well into dog, adult dogs. You can bring them to the dog park and they'll be fine with okay. everything. All right, so what these are, these those are, are toys. Those are some toys. Yeah, with young puppies, we want to make sure that we have enough toys for them to play with. They're going to be uh, going through different stages of life, so you're going to have different uh, types of toys to go through. So these are just some of them that they can play with. You think this will work? Sure. Hey guys, Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at that one. <laughs> All right, next. All What's right. Next? next step is your house training. You want to really get your house, your dog, right from day one started. The best way to do it is through a crate training. Okay. Uh, anytime that you're able to, you can watch them. You bring them, you put them in the crate. Uh, depending on how old your dog is, if your dog is two months old, the rule of thumb is that you can keep your dog uh, every two hours. You should be taking them outside. And if three months, it'll be three hours. Okay. This way, they'll be able to go uh, through there. If you're not able to watch your dog, you keep them in the crate and then you'll be able to get them onto a nice tight schedule. So this way it makes it a lot easier and there's less accidents in your house. And just simple tips to be able to have them to come to the dog park. We're at the Town of Oyster Bay Dog Park in Massapequa, a beautiful new dog park. We're at the section for the big dogs. You're looking at the section for the little dogs. These are all owners hanging out with us this morning. And of course we got the doc here. The vet is gonna talk about some tips coming up later in the morning. But if you want some more tips from Chris and K9 Commander, you can just go to our website, news12.com, click on numbers and links. All the information is there for for you, especially all of the dog parks on Long Island. We're, you know, we're not just here because we like Massapequa and the town of Oyster Bay, although we do. There's dog parks all across Nassau and Suffolk County. And I know someone who has a new dog, Carol Silva. She's been using the crate to have her dog nap. Chris, is that weird? No, oh, that's that fine. Really as weird. long as no, as long as she can take a nice nap in there, Carol could get some stuff done, and that's fine. <laughs> we love Guinness. Guinness is a, a new addition to our family. All right, come back next. We're going to have um, some Girl Scouts coming up who did awesome for this uh, dog park, and we have the doc, and we have some also training tips as well. So stick with us throughout the morning. We're live in Massapequa. Erin Colton, News 12, Long Island. Ladies.